Kia ora. Welcome to Red Camp New Zealand. I'm Cece Stevens. And I'm Emmy Morris. In today's story, it's a new crime wave sweeping the country in the form of long graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it in the latest weather update. But first, if you think the world is getting more and more tipsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside there are beds screwed into the ceiling, upside-down wardrobe, an upside-down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our, our reporter, Grace. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the house and the builder, Karis. What made you decide to build this upside down house? Well, I thought it was very unique to have an upside down house, so I decided to get my tools together and build it myself. What's your favorite thing about living in a house that's completely upside down? The experience of living in an upside down house is very different from living in a normal house, so I really, so I thought that was really cool. What are some of the challenges of living in this house? Going to the bathroom is very hard, and at night you don't get much sleep because you have to hold on all the time. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Back to you, Cece and Emmy. For a story that's, now for a story that's truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been ha having trouble finding it. it. The inventor says as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reason behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter, Zoe. Thanks, I'm Zoe Smith and with me is Alejandra, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So, what made you want to invent an invisibility cloak? Well, a friend of mine who's a police officer said she was having trouble getting to the crime scene on time because people would always catch her out and run away whenever they saw her. So she wanted me to create an invisibility cloak or something to make her invisible so she could get the criminals. Can you show me how the invisibility cloak works? Where, well, I've actually lost it. Oh, I found it. So it bends light so that you can see what's, so you cannot see what's behind it. See, so if you go like this, you cannot see me, I'm invisible. And yes, yeah, so it just bends light. So. What do you hope the cloak will be used for? Kind of what I made it for, like kind of why I made it, so that people, so that police officers specifically can solve crimes without people always catching them out and running away from the crime scene. So in this way they can catch people without people knowing that there's a police officer right behind them. Well, that makes things very clear. Thanks for joining us. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Zoe. Next up, a new wave of graffiti crime is covering the country thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Nitters. Without permission, these willy criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there is no real pattern to the crime. We cross now to Karis with an exclusive interview. Thanks Cece. I'm Karis Phillips and joining me today is a member of the Midnight Knitters Gang. Yo yo Grace. What made you what how did you decide to go into the dark underworld of knitted Griffey? Well, I always love to knit and my good friend Dorothy, she invented the Midnight Knitters Gang and she invited me to join and boy I was hooked. Do you see yourself as a criminal? Why or why not? I most certainly do not see myself as any form of criminal for all I'm doing is making sad and dull places in the world more bright and happy. I'm also showing the world my beautiful knitting skills. Um, apart from trees and lampposts, what else would you like to graffiti with your woolens? Well, I always did want to give my house a makeover. Thanks for your time. Back to you all at the news desk. Well, now if they get, they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Hillary. What is in store? Thanks, Emmy. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there'll be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions, but those are con the conditions and you'll just have to accept them. There will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taking a short holiday, but it ex is expected to be back for this weekend. Wellington will have another capital day with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until late morning. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. 
everybody likes the sun. That's all from me. Now it's back to the news desk. Thanks, Hilary. Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching. We'll, we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Emmy Morris. And I'm Cece Stevens from Wake Up New Zealand. Adios! Adios.